Hello students, welcome back. Let us start with a new sample paper, that is sample paper number, uh, number 2. We are going to take a look at section A, which is nothing but multiple choice questions, uh, wherein you have 4 questions, each carrying 1 mark and you've been given options to select from. So your answers have to be either of these 4 options and nothing uh, apart from this. So if you get anything apart from this, that means you're going wrong somewhere. But these are pretty simple. So let's get started with the first one, which is from number system. The simplest form of root 98 upon root 2 is root 2, root 98, 7 or root 7. So let's solve. Here you do not have to write given or to find and so on. You just need to be very quick in your calculation. So first of all, root 98 upon root 2 can be written as the entire root of 98 upon 2. So 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, 2 9s are 18. So this is equal to root of 49 root of 49 is nothing but root of 7 into 7 so you remove one term out which is 7 so what is your answer your answer to this sub question is 7 and it is option number C let's move on to the second one if x plus 4 is a factor of a polynomial x squared plus 3x plus m then the value of m is what so here you have two variables x and m and you need to find the value of m. Now this entire expression is a polynomial in x where x is your variable. So please understand the difference between the variables m and x. x represents the variable for this entire polynomial. The polynomial is an expression and in x whereas m is some value is going to be a constant that we need to find out. Now when they are saying that if x plus 4 is a factor of a polynomial, whatever the polynomial is, how do you find the value embedded in this expression? So when x plus 4 is a factor of a certain polynomial, the 0 of x plus 4 is going to give you, uh, when substituted into this expression, will give you the value of m. So how do you find the 0 of this term x plus 4? You just equate it to 0. So x plus 4 is equal to 0, therefore x is equal to minus 4. So the 0 of x plus 4 is minus 4 and you are going to substitute the value of minus 4, x is equal to minus 4 in this expression and find the value of m. Let's go ahead and solve this. I will say the 0 of x plus 4 can be found as follows. x plus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to minus 4. When x is equal to minus 4 is substituted in the expression or in the polynomial, what happens to the polynomial? It becomes 0. Therefore, p of minus 4 is going to be what? You are going to substitute x is equal to minus 4 in this entire expression. x square, so minus 4 the whole square, plus 3 into minus 4, plus m. So this is going to be equal to minus 4 the whole square is 16, plus 3 into minus 4 gives you minus 12, plus m. And this is going to be 0 p of minus 4 is 0. So 0 is equal to 16 minus 12 plus m. So 16 minus 12 is 4. 4 plus m is equal to 0. Therefore m is equal to minus 4. So let's write down our answer. It is option number B. Okay, let's proceed to the third sub question. If x plus y plus 2 is 0, then x cube plus y cube plus 8 equals 2. So now your hint lies in this question itself. You have x cube plus y cube plus 8. 8 is nothing but it is a cube of 2. So this becomes x cube plus y cube plus 2 cube. And here also you have x plus y plus 2. So what is the relation? We need to first find out the uh, the formula for the expression x cube plus y cube plus z cube. Let's write that down. 
So the third one, what do we know that x cube plus y cube plus z cube. So I'm not taking 2 cube, I'm taking z cube and just writing the formula for this. So this is what x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus xz plus 3xyz. Similarly now if this would have been 2, now what they've given is x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. That means if I take x plus y plus z is equal to 0, if this entire expression is equal to 0, then this entire expression becomes 0, right? So if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, what do you get? x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 0 plus 3xyz, correct? Which means what? x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz. So now instead of 2, x plus y plus z, if I say, therefore, if x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0, what does x cube plus y cube plus 2 cube become? It will become 3 into x into y into 2. Correct? So what is 2 cube now? x cube plus y cube plus 8 and we do not have the values for x and y. So 3 into 2 is 6xy. So this is your solution for x cube plus y cube plus 8. So what is it? It is 6xy. So in order to solve this sum, you need to know this formula out here. That is x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus xz plus 3xyz. Let's proceed with question number 4. Okay, so root 3 is a polynomial of degree, very simple one. It is going to be a polynomial. So first of all, a polynomial is given by a constant term and a variable. And the variable can have different powers like 0, 1, 2 and so on. They all need to be positive. Okay. So now we already have the constant which is root 3. Do we have a variable? No. So let's say I just put a variable and I put it to the power of 0. So what does the x, anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 3 in root 3 into x raised to 0 is nothing but 3, root 3. So now root 3 when we want to represent it as a polynomial, we just append a variable to it and give it a degree 0. So what is the degree of this polynomial? It is 0. So for any constant term, the, uh, polyn uh, the degree of the polynomial is always going to be 0. Okay, And if you've been given a variable, let's say if this would have been root 3 x, this means x raised to the power of 1. So the degree in this case would have been 1. But here you do not have a variable appended to the constant. So its degree is always going to be 0. So this was about your question number 1 of sample paper 1, section A, each carrying 1 mark. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.